So the episode opens with, surprise, he was your relative. Yes, you slept with your relative by marriage. Aren't you happy? Now, Allie, all I got to say is, it's not your fault that you didn't know he was your cousin. But all I'm going to say is, you got to learn to tell a man no. Just because he tell you you beautiful, you ain't got to sleep with them. That's all they want you to do is sleep with them. Beautiful do not get you nowhere nowadays, Allie. See, you learned that the hard way. That's why you ended up with Henry. I bet you the next man that tell you you beautiful, you will slap him like you slapped Trip, won't you? You're going to have to learn now, Allie. That beautiful man, tell them goodbye when they say, oh, you look beautiful. Tell them, thank you, bye. I got to go. See what that beautiful man got you, Allie. Now you're pregnant by your cousin and you stuck with him for 18 years. Mm, 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 mm. And the funny thing about it is, Nicole got to tell you, yes, he's your cousin by marriage. You know, your Uncle Steve or whatever Steve is to you, that's his son. So yes, while you was in London and y'all was in London doing kid thing, acting like y'all was adults, Y'all ended up doing things that y'all weren't prepared for. I'm pretty sure he hit you with all the little, all the little, you know, typical love stuff. Oh, you beautiful. Oh, you looking cute tonight. Did you even get dinner out of this alley? I'm curious. Did he at least take you to a fancy, you know, London, you know, one of those fancy restaurants? Just don't tell me you got drunk and you had beer goggles and you did decided to, you know, have fun. Please tell me you got lunch out of this. All he told you was you was beautiful and you fell for that pickup. You know what, Allie? You, you got enough to deal with to 18, so I'm going to leave you alone. I'm not going to give you too much. But you got to learn to say no when they say you're beautiful. I'm just telling you that. Word of advice, a lot of men going to tell you you're beautiful. Tell them thank you and go on to the left. You go to the left, tell them to move to the right. Because that beautiful mess ain't going to get you. See, you young and naive and right here doing adult things. And things you wasn't ready for. Now you got a child that you don't want. That you got your whole family. Where half of your family fighting over. Even Nicole that's um in the family by marriage. Fighting over a child that you only want to give 10 seconds to. So... The beautiful man's alley, throw it out the window. And when a man tell you you're beautiful, just say thank you and slap him and walk away. Run if you have to. If all and all else fail, you just run for the hills. That also work out for you. And trip. I ain't really got too much words for you. Like I said, we still learning you or whatever. And you know that. Uh, we still are learning you or whatever. We already know you're a player and you can go out to anything you want to chase out of. So I ain't really got too many words for you. You young and naive too and you still chasing behind. You know what you chasing behind. So I'm just going to say this, trip. You should have known better too. I mean, come on now, you know in the family. Um, you met some lonely, innocent girl. I guess you thought you could take advantage of, or I guess whatever you was doing, you found her more interested in. Y'all didn't talk about life. See, I can tell you this is a pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, and let's do our thing. Cause if y'all would have talked more and mentioned Salem, I'm pretty sure y'all would have started putting the pieces together of the puzzle. Not sitting up there wondering why this puzzle beside me. That that shows me right there. There was a one line pickup, laying the sack. Let's get pregnant. Well, let's have sex, doing grown things you shouldn't be doing. Then end up nine months later and you ended up pregnant. So if y'all would have mentioned Salem in or Steve or Sammy, I'm pretty sure y'all would have said, no, we, we we can't do nothing. Like, no, uh-uh. Cause I got family put to that I got family that's connected to that person. So yeah, y'all just was a pick it up and just drop it, wasn't it? No dinner, no talks, no conversation. Hey, beautiful. The next thing, Ellie fell in love, I guess, to give her body up. 
Now, we already know Triple is a player. Of course, he dived right on on it. What man wouldn't dive on it? A beautiful girl. So, this is going to be a lesson learned for the both of y'all. And I'm kind of here for it. I'm not here for the Xander, Sarah, and Philip little dinner thing they doing. I'm not here for that. But I'm here for this little bad decision at 18 being too grown, being too fast, being taught a lesson, being taught a lesson, and somebody need to raise this child up to be, you know, a perfect gentleman, not like the daddy that'll sleep with anything that walks, and not like Allie. All I got to do is tell you, you're beautiful, and she and he, and yeah, we, we need to teach this child some manners, because out of them two, this child don't stand a chance. The child might stand a chance with Nicole. But as for Allie and, and Trill, mm -mm, I don't see no hope and no future for that baby. I'm just saying. Hold on, hold on. Maybe I might entertain this little Xander thing just with a, just with a um, Jan Spears situation. So besides hanging up the phone, big head, we gonna proceed to talk to her behind Sarah's back, and she already talking about she gonna get a thing some thought about going to the police and reporting Philip because he threatened her. And you sitting up here listening to this, I'm guessing you're gonna end a Xander. Like I said, everything good coming your life. You just have you just have to grab it and just toss it out the window. Everything good. I mean, can you do something right and do something straight for once in your big head life? Now, Sarah already told you what's up with Jan. I see you still ain't learned your lesson and you still very hard headed. Cause somebody would have blocked her number, told her to get the you know what off my phone and don't call me, don't bother me with this mess. You, however, proceed to entertain her because this Philip angle works for you. Even though she already told you she OCD over Sean and that's her angle in this whole situation, you so desperate and thirsty to get rid of Philip. So you gonna let her do what she got to do when it when it you gonna let her do whatever she gonna do when it pertains to Philip, just so you can have Xander, I'm not surprised nor shocked. You always overplay your hand. You end up with a good hand, and then somehow you end up messing up this hand every time for yourself. Xander, when you gonna learn to leave your hand alone? If the hand fine, leave the hand, leave, leave the hand alone and play with the cards you dealt. Don't be trying to add on, trying to get, you know what you need to get, trying to show your behind out. Most people will use these cards they got and run with it and try to win the game with it and add on to it and make it more better. You, however, have a good card, have some good cards in your hand, and you always manage to mess it up for you. Then would you get yourself together for a change is what I'm trying to say, long story short. Oh, so y'all did have a conversation, but the conversation we didn't have is about our old town, where our family is, how we want to leave this town, and go explore, and go and explore our life. We didn't talk about that, but we did talk, and you're in denial, Allie. Oh, there got to be another trip. This can't be the same, baby. It's only one trip in Salem. And trust me, you tripped over it and you ended up pregnant and now you got Henry from that trip. So yes, it is trip. Now hold on, hold on, crazy. You really think that you got steady footing in Salem? Even if Philip did threaten your life, like I said, all the family and all the the horrors, the karaoke's, all them connected together. Do you really think that's who in the police station now? Do you really think you gonna have a legal leg or a leg to stand on in general, Jan? The best thing you can do is leave Salem. Baby, they didn't hurt the stories. Hope already in there. That was her son. You tried to blow up for starters. Rape, I'm pretty sure know about you or gonna find out about Jan. Give up this this mess. Give it up. It's not gonna work out for you, crazy. So go on and sit down somewhere. 
again, I don't know why Xander entertaining you, but okay, we gonna let him, we gonna let these cars mess him up, and we gonna see where he gonna end up losing all his money at the end of this, at the end of this card game. And another thing, crazy. You tried to blow the man up and then tried to blow up his wife, I think girlfriend back then or what. Why do these crazy people think they can just come and steal somebody, man? We already got bad history, but I'm guessing somehow you're going to brainwash me and to convince me that you're the one. I'm not going into crazy heads tonight. I'm not doing that. Jam. This is a mess up plan, but okay, have fun with it. We're going to see how this going to play out for you. Xander, like I said, play your hand. Play your hand and let's see how many um chips you had at the end of this play. Let's just go ahead and play this game and see where you end up at. Tag you it. And that was all that happened when it came to um, Henry Father. We talked a little bit, but tag, you're it. Now I'm pregnant. Now I can't stand the baby father, and I don't know why. Because I, I'm a, I'm, I, I said I wasn't going to give her too much. I ain't going to give a little girl too much. I just want to say that you learned your lesson. If you didn't learn it now, you're going to learn it today. You're going to learn that lesson real quick, Miss Allie. And Crazy actually going to go to the slow Salem PD and call herself file a police report. And look who she run into. Maybe I can help with that. What, try to blow me up again? Jan, didn't I tell you you were standing on by your pinky toe? And don't do it. You're not going to get anywhere. I told you to hop on that pinky toe and hop out of town. See, you hard-headed. You about hard-headed than Xander. The only difference is your head's not as large as his. See? Now hop on that pinky toe and hop out of slow Salem PD. And hop out of Salem while you at it, thinking you and Sean ever gonna have some... You gotta love your crazies that's in love with somebody that can't... Mm, you gotta love them. You gotta love them. The ones that love you, but you can't stand them. It would never happen. Not in a million years. I go to prison and do all that time. But yet you still love me. How does one get a crazy... Never mind. I was going to say, how does one get a crazy off her back like Jan in? I don't want to know the answer. Because it involved prison time. So I ain't going to even say it. Oh, so you see this as an opportunity, even better. How about it be Sean help you get rid of Philip for Big Head? So you're going to use this anger that Philip and Sean don't get along because of the Bella situation. Oh, so that's crazy. There's not enough pills in America. Yes, I saw Sean going to end up arresting Philip. But who going to take you serious? Maybe Trash might believe you for maybe 10 or 15 minutes, but Jan, are we really going to, you know what? She, she run up with her own crazy opinions. Let's watch them play out. I'm going to be quiet. Oh, the damsel in distress act. Oh, okay. I was scared. I'm scared for my life. Ooh, I'm shaking. I'm shivering. It ain't much wind up. Oh, okay. So basically, you got a one up on Sean. He got the he ain't got no choice what to take your report and try to entertain you because that's his job. Other than that, I'm pretty sure you recorded him. You ain't got no bruise on your arm. Like this can go a possible a million ways. We already know he ain't got no choice what the arrest feel up cause. Basically, you're a citizen. A man threatened you, you're a female, so yeah, yeah, okay. So that's the game we playing. You blow up people in your past, and now all of a sudden you scared and shaking in your boot, or shall I say your heel? So, irresponsible, terrible, you're 18, you don't know how to act, you are across the water in a nice city or a nice country, whichever one we calling it. You're sleeping all day, you're partying all night. You supposed to get a job, you didn't want to get a job. 
thanks to Kate behind, you got to live you live your life the basically the way you want to live because Kate, somebody using their credit cards to get by, acting like they live in a luscious lifestyle, and we all know she's not. With that little booze, you basically blew off interviews. You didn't care about getting no job. You were shopping and partying, sleeping all night. You did it reverse. Um, guessing this is where the beer goggles kick in. I'm waiting to get to the trip party. Basically, what I'm waiting for. I just basically want to tell you where you screwed up at. All that partying and having fun and not caring about a care in the world. But until you ended up doing something that supposed to care for in the world. So we we gonna we gonna finish this story. We gonna finish it. Oh, so you do got common sense in the wrong aspect, but you do got come okay. So you're not one of those girls that fall okay, I was wrong. You didn't fall for the beautiful. You played around with him. You didn't heard this all before. You didn't play that tape several times. You was over the song. You ready to move. Oh, okay. Talking like you got some common sense now. I got you. At least you didn't fall for the beautiful. I'm glad you had enough sense not to fall. I'm glad. Thank God Sammy gave you some common sense. I'm going to give you that one. But how did you end up in the bed? That's where I'm waiting for that one. I'm waiting for what made you really fall for him. He said you said he wasn't your type before. But he was clean cut, and I guess you want to try something clean for a change, I'm guessing. I, I don't know where you're going up with this story or whatever, but I'm trying to see what made you want to drop your pants. That's what I'm waiting on. It wasn't a beautiful, so it wasn't a beautiful, so what was it? Beer goggles, song you like, slow dance. Can't stand your alcohol or can't or you can't stand your alcohol enough and you don't know how to act with it in your system. Sound like a brew for, sound like a brew of why the, did I do that? <laughs> Ali. Just cause they say you 18, you can drink in London, don't mean that you can handle it. So that means you can't even control your alcohol. And when you start doing a little puppeteer dance and have a puppet up there doing you like this and you doing cause the puppet tell you to move, you moving, that means it's time to put down the bottle. You have a lot to learn. Well, again, lesson learned for you. Slow dancing, bear goggles, not your type of song. Couldn't stand on your own two feet. Take me home. Did he at least cook your soup? They help you get over your hangover and they help you sleep. I, I this story, I, I kind of see where she was going with it, but then the more I think about it and use my common sense, you said you was trying to give him a hard time because you really wasn't interested. But to sound like to me, you was playing hard to get because you really liked it him. And you didn't want to seem like the easy type, but you ended up being the easy type after the booze and the alcohol and the can't stand on one foot scrape. So, yeah, kind of was an easy. Oh, so crazy then did the do. Sean basically to the karaoke's mansion with the two babies whining about some business deal that I fast forward through. I ain't gonna need much to tell y'all no word of a lie. I ain't got time for two grown babies. I mean, they gonna get the fast forward button until they do something interesting besides sit up there and whine and see who can whine and allow us to get what they want. So, we didn't did that. So, now you back to the playing with people children again. See, Belle, if you would have did exactly what I told you to do when it came to Jen and playing in your daughter's face, she wouldn't be around your daughter no more. She will know not to play around with your daughter. Hey, girl! She will know not to. She will turn the other way when she see your daughter. But since you didn't do what you were supposed to do as a mother protecting your child, now she could have play all in your face and your daughter face and your daughter feel and your daughter feel sorry for her. So you have fun with that, Belle. Having your daughter being manipulated by a crazy bat lady that like to blow up people. Oh come on, Philip, baby. Did you really just admit that you yanked the woman up? 
You see why I'm saying got time for these two babies and the other big head baby up there with a frown on his face enjoying every single last bit of it. He don't want nobody to know that he loving is, but he's sitting up there. I ain't got time for these two big grown behind babies. I do not. I do not. I do not. Like I said, I'm going to entertain them for maybe 10, 15 seconds, and then we fast forward. And I ain't got time for no two babies. I I'm sorry. One of these babies got to go, and one of these babies got to get rid of one of their control because I can't stand all the hollering and screaming, and I can only take it for so long. And see how it bounce back on you, big head. It's funny how all of a sudden this happens. You sitting up there with a big old smirk on your face laughing like you didn't hit the jackpot. You see how that bounced back on you? It's easy to point the finger back at you. But then again, you don't care, do you? Just as long as fill up out your way, why do you care? And then when you turned around when she told you this would have this this cost of you, isn't it? You got a smile on your face. Mm-hmm. And who believe in that room that you're going to help fill up? Who? Who? Xander, leave the cards alone. If you're going to play poker, please play poker. Please don't play no checkers and tell me it's poker. Please, Xander, you got to do better than what you're doing. Your head too big and enlarged for you not to have a brain up there to think that this ain't going to, that, that somehow this is not going to bounce back and pop you in the head. Come on. Really, Xander? Really, Xander? You don't think that that's going to bounce back to you? But then again, you don't care, do you? So you don't care, I don't care, let the babies whine, I guess. Mm-mm. I don't like the way that sound. I ain't trying to say Trip took advantage. The way she just eased over that last part, suddenly the milk ain't clean. And Trip, I'm trying not to think the words, but please tell me you ain't took advantage of that girl in or raped that girl. Pl 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 Trip, please tell me it ain't so. Because if you did, it'll make complete sense why she don't want no parts of that baby. That would make complete sense to me. And it, you know, that'll be that final piece of the puzzle I'm trying to fit, and it just won't fit. So please don't tell me there's a right part to this story. Please. Because if it is, Trip. You don't need that on your record knowing you going for medical school. I, I, mm. Anyways, I ain't going to jump to too many conclusions. We're going to have to just wait the part two or when she decides to tell us the rest or the truth come out somehow. I'm hoping that ain't where it's leading to. But the more I think about it and the way she don't like trip, don't want no parts of trip. <sighs> I, I'm going there. So, anyways, so y'all, that was the episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all night. Bye.